Hello and welcome to the van. Today's a very exciting day. It's the 26th of April, but what's exciting about that is this. It's the first really hot day, or hot or warmish, it's 25 degrees, and that means that all my winter stuff, such as what's behind me now, is going into the uh, washing machine, whether it needs it or not, and that is then going to storage. In the meantime, I've already been up into the attic and I've got out my summer stuff. So I've got out my, uh, when I got my short trousers on the first time this year and uh, wearing a t-shirt. And that's a moment in the life, I think, of any camper, which is something which they really look forward to. I haven't even tidied the van up before uh, doing this because I want to show genuinely I'm um, having my spring clean so to speak now uh, for this year i've got one or two rather exciting uh, things for me anyway planned um now uh, i'll be doing my usual sort of stuff uh, at the end of june i'll be in bad kissingen uh, that's a four by four off-road uh, camping event it is absolutely fantastic and if you're only going to go to one event in the year i suggest actually having a look at that because it is a great atmosphere there it's only four days uh, last year it was super uh, um, hot, uh, which which was great uh, and unusual, I think, for, for Northern Bavaria. Uh, but I do know that, for example, I think it was in 2013, it was a washout and it, it was pouring with rain. It must be very unpleasant. But it was such a, let's hope for good weather, a fantastic, really wonderful event. And I shall also be at Caravan Salon at uh, the end of August. It's this week, uh, this year, it's, it's been moved to the first week of September. So I think that's a, it's a great great idea putting it then rather than when they had it uh, earlier and uh, the uh, other thing I'll be at uh, this year is in the third week of October there's an event in Warsaw Poland the camper caravan show I shall also be there now uh, I've also got a couple of journeys planned which are uh, um, uh, quite exciting the first one is to uh, Hungary I'll be I'll be going back there sometime don't quite know when yet uh, and the second event uh, second one is to Russia which is really exciting and uh, so um, I'm really looking forward to uh, both of those now I want to go to Russia during the World Cup and uh, that didn't come off in fact I planned that when um, more or less when Russia won it, I think it was, uh, 20, 2011, I decided I wanted to go to Russia when England was playing. Uh, anyway, that uh, didn't happen, but, um, uh, so, but I will be doing that uh, this year. I hope so. That's really exciting. Now, uh, another thing uh, which uh, I hope we we'll find time for all this is that uh, we I, I bought a sprinter and we're going to be converting that uh, into a camper van. Now, the sprinter itself is from 2015, and uh, what we're, what we've done, I've already bought the parts for it. Uh, we're going to be using for the isolation. We're going to be use it, sorry insulation. I keep getting those two words mixed up. Um, isolation. That's most languages and insulation in English. For the insulation I bought some um, uh, uh, materials which are used in the oil and gas industry for, for protecting pipes and things of this nature uh, when it gets down to minus 30. So this is the sort of stuff I'm trying to use. I want to have it fully winterized. I now realize the mistakes that were made when this van was done. And I can also see the, uh, I won't necessarily say it was a mistake, but what many commercial van manufacturers uh, are using, um, it's not really sort of uh, properly winterized. And so what to fully winterize a camper van conversion, you're thinking, well, what's the point? Because there's parts of it you can't really winterize at all, such as the windscreen up front. Whereas if you're doing uh, something like a motorhome, then yes, that it's 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 easier to actually do it. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna um, gonna we're gonna attempt uh, to do that. We've been looking also at all sorts of other things. It's gonna have air conditioning uh, from uh, 12 volts, and uh, so uh, as well. So uh, that's uh, that's quite exciting. So once we get into the van, um, uh, that one I'll show it how it's been done. Uh, and I'll give you a couple of days to make any comments about not doing it that way. One of the problems, though, that we found, it's a bit like a puzzle where you've got you've only got uh, 199 centimeters on the outside, but inside it's it's even it's even less. And if you had 199 centimeters, 
uh, to work with, then okay, you can get a bed in. But it's not inside by the time it was the, the sloping of the, the it, it appeared. It's only about 165. So really, unfortunately, the bed has got to be in the lengthwise direction rather than the uh, um, widthwise one, and uh, so that that creates all sorts of problems. It's not a huge amount of space in there, but uh, so it's going to be a two-person van with a large table. It's something uh, I like. It's a very large table. I've got an enormous table in this van. Good, right, so, well, uh, don't write uh, what a mess in that van because uh, obviously I'm tidying the thing up. I haven't shown you up front here because I've got all, all, all the papers and stuff I've got, I brought back with me uh, for my last tour, which so was January, February, March, uh, three months travelling around. And um, so I brought lots of papers and things back from there. Um, I have started new channels on um, uh, YouTube should you be interested i mean it's taken me a bit of time actually obviously um can't be things can't be done quickly but i'm going to ha now have a dedicated travel channel uh, which is just places uh, so i'm going to start moving uh, the stuff which I'm now being done. I put everything on one Alan Heath channel uh, I might even change the name of the channel to make it something more appropriate because it's not just the things I'm doing any longer i've got a um, dedicated history channel and um i'm a uh, about to launch or have launched in other languages in Polish German and in Italian as well uh, Having said that it's all taking time. So please bear with me. Thank you for watching How do I turn this off?